Hello and welcome to Tuesday Card Games. I'm Chris. I'm Steven. And uh, today we're not going to play any games. We're more actually just going to discuss the storage of playing cards because uh, if you try to store them without any kind of protection for any amount of time, they will uh, in you know, inevitably get dented and bent. Um, so uh, Steven's been collecting cards uh, much longer than I have. So I figured we'd talk to him about it and uh, see what he has. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, there's different ways to hold cards. Um, one of the most basic ways uh, to hold cards is uh, just getting some, like, penny sleeves. Uh, you can get these really cheap off of, like, mm -hmm. Amazon or even, like, your local, like, card shop. Uh, they're super cheap. Um, there are some different kinds you can get. I like just the cheapest possible uh, just because, like, there's some that you can get that you can put them in and they're, like, they've got, like, this, um, I guess... Not really glossy uh, ness to it, but it's like um, uh, like a smoky kind of thing. Like it, it's not as, yeah, yeah, it's like a haze. Mm -hmm. uh, these are like completely clear. So like if you have some nice cards that you want to like see some effects through, like I, I mean you can kind of see this here, but I can kind of show on the camera as well. But I just have like a Pokemon card here to kind of show you. Uh, but like if you take it out. Uh, you can see like these sparkle effects and like if it, your cards have any cool effects on it this isn't going to block it at all mm. um some of the other uh cards that have like some cool designs on the back usually have some like uh smokiness or like uh, like fogginess on the other side and kind of you know take away that effect and I, and I have a i bought a packet of these for my imagination cards mm -hmm. and uh they've set uh, in them for several years now mm -hmm. and they're still fine right yeah so, so no. these uh, yeah. these protect your cards now, uh, i'm willing to bet though you could probably have to look to see if some of these are aesthetic or not. Mm -hmm. um, so, because I know um, with comic books, um, some of the old bags they used to produce are aesthetic, and so you'd have to change them out every once in a while. Oh yeah. So I, w I would be curious to look into that to see if any of these are like not aesthetic yeah. or something. But yeah, I'm but, not sure. Uh, I I mean, there is also cards uh, sleeves you can get that are also uh, like these penny sleeves, but they're perfect fit. So like up mm -hmm. here, you can kind of see like there's a gap. There is some that you can get that like just barely goes over the top of the card. So uh, that would be like, if you're really wanting like uh, for like board game cards kind of thing, mm -hmm. that's probably what I would recommend. Um, it's gonna be easier to hold them. And just so you know too, when it comes to sleeping cards, unless you know something I don't, one of the big drawbacks is shuffling them is different. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's harder to do the, the flip thing, but. Yeah, and with the perfect yeah. fit, it will be easier to shuffle them too. Right, you won't right. have that extra But material. there's just something you just have to be aware of. There's just, a, you just have to shuffle differently. But. Right, right. Yeah, um, and like mainly for collecting purposes, um, you can also get like these uh, top loaders uh, for them. I, I always go through Ultra Pro for any of my sleeves. Uh, that's the brand I usually use. Uh, it's pretty high quality stuff. Um, but you can essentially use these to like double protect your card. So you put it in the top, uh, you put it in the, uh, the penny sleeve and put it in the top loader and that just like completely protects your card. Uh, from any kind of like damage or anything that it would get. So pretend, protects it from like bending, uh, at least resistant to it. It'll still bend if you like put enough pressure on it, but it does protect that, it that, sh that should keep accidents from bending. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Uh, if um, you're poor at storing your stuff, it's gonna, that's gonna, that stuff's gonna happen, but that's right. like if it gets bumped and, and you can still even, even with this, you can still even play with a deck like that if you wanted you to. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be a little bit more uncomfortable, but that if you're really wanting to make sure your cards don't, you know, end up damaged, that's your best bet. Um, I do have a different kind of sleeve here. Uh, this is for like, this is like your um, card savers. Uh, essentially, this is uh, what you would use if like you need to send it off to get like graded or anything like that. So this is more for like grading than anything or uh, keeping it more protected than the uh, the top loader. This uh, is actually a little bit higher quality. Um, but that is uh, mainly for just collecting purposes. Um, I do have a couple binders as well I can kind of show you. So if you're wanting to like, uh, put them in the sleeve and then also in a binder just to, and then to, you know, take them out whenever you, you know, grab your board game out kind of thing. Uh, this is, uh, this is how I'm, I'm attempting to set up a storage like this for the Power Rangers and G.I. Joe games that I have uh, from mm -hmm. Renegade uh, because there are so much cards uh, in them and you don't need all the cards. So I'm, I'm currently trying to organize them to where it's like, oh, I'm playing with the Mighty Morphin sets, and then when we see what monsters come up, it's easy to get to them. Right. I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. Right, right. Yeah, and this will preserve your cards a little bit more. 
Um, I don't I don't recommend the uh, the binders with like the rings because uh, if you're not careful, you can damage your cards. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so all of these binders I have here do not have rings. So um, we're, we're ringless in this. Yeah, and these are ultra pro. <laughs> Uh, the, at least this one here is Ultra Pro. I couldn't find any like higher quality ones in Ultra Pro that are uh, like a, a decent price uh, mm -hmm. point. That's the thing um, is, yeah, you spend a lot of money. So are these yeah. side loaders here? The top uh, so these are these are all side loading. These are side loading. Okay. Yeah. So like, um, here I have a different card here. So this one's already in a sleeve. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I usually just put my cards in sleeves and then you just slide them in here. This is great. This this is actually the solution I, I was looking for, and I'm going to probably invest into some of these because mm -hmm. you can keep the cards sleeved and they can slide in. The sleeves that I have now don't have room for this. The 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 the, the um these sleeves don't have room for the other sleeve. What would you call right. these? Um. So this is a uh, I, I, this is just a um uh, side loading binder essentially. Okay, this binder. one's just a standard yeah. like side so, loading so binder. the binders that I have currently don't have room for the sleeves and mm. so I'm I'm trying to I would like to, I'm gonna switch over to this solution here so I can keep my cards sleeved but still put them in a binder because mm. there's something fun about flipping through a binder full of trading cards oh, yeah. so I can look oh, at yeah. all the artwork and stuff that is it's a lot of fun right um, so this is where I'd like to mm. go yeah, and this is this is one of the cheaper ones. So like, uh, you can buy a bunch of these if you just have a bunch of cards that you want to like get in binders. Mm -hmm. uh, and like this one, just it's just held together with this uh, this band here. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, um, yeah. Let me take this out. Oh, oh, it's somewhere in here. Yeah, we'll come back to that card. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll show you how to get this out so. as well. So then it's really easy to take these out if you do decide to use the uh, top loaders. So. It's not, again, like if you dropped a box on it, it would probably bend, but I mean, that's that's it's, not bad. I'm, I'm putting like pressure on that. So yeah. that'll stand up to the rigors of being on a shelf. Oh yeah, no, it's, I, um, I use some of those for some of my like. Um, you uh, couldn't build a table with it, but. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I use some of those for more of like my sets, um, like some of my cheaper sets. Yeah. Um, these are what I'm starting to like switch to. So I'll show you this finder. So this one's a little bit higher quality. Oh, you're this switching is, to this, okay. Yes, this is the one I'm switching to, um, just because I want something a little bit more sturdier, um, a little bit more protected. Uh, this one's a lot higher quality, and it's a little bit more expensive than that one over there. It's about, I'd say about five to ten dollars more than mm. than that one. So it is a little bit more expensive, um, but this one has like uh, it unzips this all the way around. This is Vault X. And this is Vault X, That's yeah, instead of okay. the Ultra Pro. But if you do go with those cheaper ones, I always recommend the Ultra Pro. Uh, they just slide in a lot easier than uh, some of the other other brands that I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Vault X is what I've started to sw switch to. These are side loaders as well. And these are side loaders as well. Perfect. Yes. Yep. So the reason why I like side loaders is because the top loaders, when you're doing the top row. I've, I'll get confused on which, right. I'll, I'll put them on like, the ones that are supposed to go on this side, on this side. So with oh, the side yeah. loaders, that's not a problem. Right, and these are double sided too, so uh, you won't have to like, you know, you're not putting them in one one side, back to back kind of okay. thing. Are these so. double sided, the Ultra Pro? Yes, that okay. one's also double sided. Perfect. So. And then these, these slide in really easy too. Uh, so we can just show you here. Real time and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, very easy. Ooh, so Vault X, okay. Yep, Vault X. So I've swapped with these. Uh, these ones, I believe, when I bought these, were about twenty-five bucks, and mm -hmm. then those ones were around the like fifteen to twenty bucks. With inflation being what it is, we'll just throw some Amazon links in the description. Right, right. Yeah, it might have gone up and down. I, I bought these a little while ago, so. But I'm gonna take this out because I'm gonna use this to show you the next binder. <laughs> so again, that will take sleeved cards. Yep, this appreciate. is sleeved cards. Yeah, you, you can put cards in here unsleeved, but you do risk damaging it because you're gonna be taking it in and out. And mm -hmm. So it's like, you, know, you definitely want to sleeve them up before you put them in there. But we can go to the next one. So this one is, you know, not everyone's gonna want Again, this binder. This this is sturdy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'd like to test these things like that. No, you're good. That's like, I mean, just to kind of, there's yeah. size difference. And yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Like this one kind of buckles a little bit, that's not gonna buckle on no, you. That and one. the zipper is kind of nice because if you have this full and you drop it, you're not gonna spill cards everywhere. Right. I don't think you'll spill cards out of this one either. If this closed, I think if you drop that, you're fine. Oh yeah. But you're definitely fine with that zipper. Right. So. And this one is more, uh, protects it more for like liquid as well. So oh, yeah. like, yep. 
Yeah, if you're going to drop does water this, or anything on it. Does this come in separate colors as well? Yes, that okay. comes with different colors. Okay. Yeah. I, so I have you can, you can color code your cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I do. I, I have different sets. I, I collect mm -hmm. a lot of Pokemon cards, so I have different sets and different colors. Mm -hmm. So I do mainly Imagination and Digimon, and obviously with both of those, they have color-specific sets. Oh, so yeah. So I can see that being nice building your uh, sets out, like, yeah. Right, right. Colored binders, but... Right, right. Yeah. Um, and then this last binder I have, um, this is more for, like, collecting purposes. Not a lot of people are going to be, you know, using this binder. This one uh, is mainly for, like, if you do decide to put your cards in the top loaders, uh, that this this binder here, it's huge, like, compared to these binders. Like, you yeah. can put them up side by side. Like, it is, it is much larger. It is huge. And, like, in this top down, we can, like, set one on top of it. Like, it is, like... Significantly larger. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty hefty. Um, but uh, if you're really wanting to protect your cards uh, and you're wanting to put them in these top loaders, this one actually holds the top loaders. Ooh. So, I'll open this up. I do have some some of my Pokemon cards in here because <laughs> I didn't have an empty one. <laughs> but, no, that's totally fine. But yeah, if you're really wanting to protect your cards, you can put them in these top loaders here. And then these fit in the binder, just the same as Again, everything else. Again, they, they load in the side. Yep, right. side loader. Yep. Yeah, and this is, uh, I think this is a different brand as well. So this is uh, TG, this is- uh, TG, but- uh, Yeah, I forget what is it, that one is. We'll look it's, it up and I'll put it in- Yeah, I'll yeah. put it on the bottom of the screen. It's and reading guard. So it's it, TG, it's like something guard. Something guard uh, okay. I'll have to look it up, or up the, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll Again, up. we'll have a link to this in the uh, thing. So this is the heftiest heavy duty one. Yeah. Um, I, I'd say like you're right, realistically, unless you're trying to keep your, like collect your cards, like cards you yeah. never plan on playing with. I could see that being nice, but yeah, that's, that's hefty. That is, that's thicker. Um, yeah, this one I would uh, typically what I usually use this for is like all my more expensive cards that I know I'm not going to be touching. Mm -hmm. I'll put them in the top loaders and then I'll put them in here. See, this is where I'm a bit of um, I'm trying to think of the word that um, uh, what, what do you call it? Like a transgressor, like mm -hmm. pagan? No. Um, this is where I transgress card laws. I play with every card. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm not a collector. I, I, yeah. I play. I don't pay attention to the meta or anything like that. I play with what what looks the most fun. Right. And that's how I'm always going to be. Um, but so, so, I think this is probably going to the Vault X is going to be what I'm going to be going with. But this is really cool too. Yeah. Uh, I just brought this to show just yeah. because you know, yeah. just in Again, case. <laughs> that's that's sturdy. Um, right. It's yeah. This one is. I probably compare it to like this this mm -hmm. other one here. I definitely recommend the. Um, the Vault X, mm -hmm. though, if you're wanting yep. to. And the shelf real estate's a thing, too. This Ultra Pro will take up a lot less mm -hmm. real estate than, um, yeah. Like, yeah. And if you're not moving it a whole lot, you know, you, you don't have it near any liquids or anything like that. That cheaper, the, the cheaper Ultra Pro one, that one, that one's perfectly fine. Uh, uh, but if you're wanting like your cards to be really protected, you know, uh, you're willing to spend the extra like five, five bucks, I would definitely go with the, the Vault X. Nice. But, uh, um, and then we have this uh, big white oh, this big white cardboard over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I brought this. Uh, we haven't built it yet. Um, I don't, did you want to build it? Yeah. Here. Okay. Um, That's fine. Uh, but this is mainly for like if you're like I do a lot of Pokemon card collecting, so I have a lot of bulk. Uh, so this is for like if you're wanting to hold a lot of like bulk cards. Um, so we can go ahead and build this real quick. Uh, you can get these off of, uh, what I usually get them off of is Amazon as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's about half of it done. The other half will just go in the same exact way. And it kind of gives you like four sections here that you can use for cards. So it's really nice for just holding bulk. Um, I sometimes, if I if I want to, I'll uh, have some like I'll, I'll I'll sleeve them depending on how many how many cards there are, and then we'll stick them in here. So they do fit yep. sleeved cards and as well. Also, okay. And the other thing too is like when you buy packs of cards, there's going to be a lot of cards that you'll never ever touch. Right. And this is just a good way to keep them until you figure out what to do with them. But yeah, that is just one of the things about buying packs. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that they, they call them commons and stuff, and that's how they keep our uh, dopamine hits <laughs> alive is by 
giving us a bunch of comments and then it's like, oh, that rare one and yeah. But yeah, this is what I use. Once you get it all together and everything, it's really sturdy. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what I use for like bulk cards, like cheaper cards. This reminds me of like comic book long boxes where you like, oh, yeah. uh, put your kind Realistically guys, they'll go short boxes. They're easier to move. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Right. <laughs> you can always line them up too. So yeah. comic book long boxes are six feet long. Oh geez. Uh, I prefer the, uh, say five to six feet long, but that's like, that's, I mean, when you're trying to handle them and stuff, I prefer the boxes are like two and a half feet because, mm -hmm. yeah. Way like, easier to lift. Yep, yep. And you okay. can always take boxes and stack. Anyway, well, this isn't a comic show, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling right. you guys, the joke yeah. is long boxes because comic book collectors will have long boxes, but the only right. people, yeah, short boxes are the way to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there are different variants of this too. Like you can get some that are just one, one piece mm -hmm. and they're a little bit more uh, cheaper. But like if you have a lot of cards, they're gonna be you're gonna have a bunch of those smaller ones. They're gonna be really hard to like lug yeah. around. So this is definitely I think the better I think option. I this being handy. I might have to get a couple of these because some cards coming in the next couple of years. But <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but. alrighty. Well, I think that covers it, right? Yeah, um, I think so. So we'll uh, have links to everything we've showed you. Um, let us know what your storage solutions are. Um, we'd love to hear uh, feedback. Um, again, we're both kind of hobbyists at this, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd like to see what or hear what you guys do for storage and yeah uh, so until next time take the initiative and roll out see you